India News 24 Hour. Written by Manoj C. G. New Delhi, published December 21, 2017, 1200 M. Chairman Venkai Naidu in Rajya Sabha. PTI The Congress continued to stall Rajya Sabha Wednesday, demanding a clarification from Prime Minister Narendra Modi over an electoral speech in Gujarat about his predecessor Manmohan Singh, even as Chairman M. Venkai Naidu told Congress MPs that nobody is going to give an apology for a statement that was not made in the House. In an attempt to resolve the impasse, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley had, according to Congress leaders, offered Tuesday to make a statement on behalf of the Prime Minister, but the Congress insisted that the Prime Minister come to the House to clarify since he had leveled the allegation. After the House was adjourned for the day Wednesday, leader of the opposition Ghulam Nabi Azad said the Congress is not insisting on an apology from the PM but cannot agree to somebody else clarifying on the Prime Minister's behalf. During the Gujarat poll campaign, Modi had alleged that Manmohan Singh had attended a secret meeting at Congress leader Mani Shankar Iyer's house and added that former Pakistan Army Director General Arshad Rafiq had insisted that Congress leader Ahmed Patel be made CM of Gujarat. The allegation that the Prime Minister had made is very serious. Azad said, the Prime Minister should either prove his allegation or come to the House and say what he said was an election stunt since his party was losing the elections in Gujarat. He should say he had tried to paint the leaders of the Congress as anti-national to win the elections, and say, since my job is done, I have won the elections, I withdraw my statement. The opposition leader added, if the Prime Minister thinks it is beneath his dignity to apologize, let him simply say that it was an electoral stunt and I withdraw what I had said. Even that is agreeable to us. Senior Congress leaders said Manmohan Singh is deeply upset and hurt by the Prime Minister's allegation. Even a telephone call by the Prime Minister to Manmohan Singh to clear the air could be enough, a senior Congress leader said. Congress members chanting, Prad and Mantri Mafi Mango, Prad and Mantri Sharam Karo, disrupted Rajya Sabha proceedings, leading to multiple adjournments. Don't create obstruction. There is no order in the House, this is not the way. This is Parliament, the Upper House, Naidu said. A wrong message is going out, which is not good for you, for the country in the House, I don't appreciate your behavior. Don't exceed limits. When the House reassembled after the first adjournment, slogan shouting resumed, prompting Naidu to say, nobody is going to give apology. Nothing happened in this House. No statement is made in this House. So there is no practice of suspending question hour. Don't make a mockery of the House. Azad later met Naidu in his chamber to convey his objection to that observation. Azad said the question is not whether the allegation was made in the House or not it was made against a member of the House. Manmohan Singh is a gentle person. Otherwise, he could have given a notice for breach of privilege against the Prime Minister, he is entitled to move a privilege. It would set a wrong precedent to bring a privilege notice against the Prime Minister, that is why we are not in favor, that is why we are asking the Prime Minister to come to the House and withdraw his statement. Azad said, the House could not transact any business. Amid the commotion, the chairman also read out a resolution adopted by Rajya Sabha in 2012 resolving to uphold and maintain the dignity, sanctity and supremacy of parliament, make it an effective instrument of change and to strengthen democratic values and principles, to enhance the accountability of the government towards the people through the oversight of parliament and to rededicate ourselves completely to the sacred task of nation-building. I suggest to all of you to please remember the solemn pledge taken by all of us not to disturb the question hour, not to create an unruly scenes, Naidu said. For all the latest India news, download Indian Express app tags Parliament Winter Session.